Greetings and welcome to CodeQuickly. Today we're going to be looking at a simple data flow pipeline in Python. Now just an overview of pipelines. Pipelines we think as a flow of stream in a metal rod from one end to another. And that's what we think about when we hear pipeline. But what's really not going on is the concept of a pipeline when we're dealing with GCP. What we actually have is a decision tree, right? We have data that we have a a object that starts in the beginning and as it flows through the decision trees it makes decisions in the road on where to go right uh, we want to express this fully but for now just to grab a concept of how to do things with gcp we're going to see how we're going to set up a simple data flow pipeline in gcp all right so first things first we want to go over to the cloud shell and we want to go ahead and copy our target project from GitHub, so we can use you can use it but here. I have that target set up already, but for you, when you go ahead and download it, it takes some it takes a while once it gets cloned into your term into your shell. So you just wait for that to happen and you can go from there. So once you're ready to go from there, you could go and into our storage API. And we could go ahead and make a new bucket. We we'll create a bucket with and fill the properties as you see in this table with the values that we see. And we just go over that you, your unique bucket name usually use the project ID, which I go grab from the project pane view and the ID here. The default storage class, make sure it's multi regional when you come across it, and the location is the location where you are. So I have a bucket. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and make another one, but making one is relatively quick. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to stick with the bucket that I have here. All right. So now what we want to do, we want to head over to where our data flow project is. And now we want to install Apache B in this. Apache B is something that you're going to hear a lot when you're dealing with data flow. We go ahead and install packages and let it run, and we'll get back once we're finished. All right, so now Apache B is set up. What you can do now is you can head over to our to the file that we're going to use for our pipeline just to see what's going on a bit. All right, so in this sample, what we have is that our input is a bunch of Java files. Output is going to our temp directory, and the search term is import. Right? And if you take a look at the function, if the line starts with the term, then filter it in. Right? Filter it into what? Our output prefix. And we can see these pipelines in this logic here, in this code here. Right? We get the Java, we get the Java files, we refund text, right? Because it's a batch, it's a batch data, it's not streaming data. All right. Then we grab for all the lines that all the lines that start with the word import, and then we go ahead and write and we go ahead and write it to output. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and simply run this Python file. I don't think I'm in the right spot though. Oh, I am. Grep. Grep. All right. All right. We might get a little error if, if you run it. If you ran this before and you run it again, that's usually what happens. But. Go ahead and cut our output, and we see all of this. We see everything here. We see everything here. That starts all the lines that starts with import in those Java files was able to take in and take it and set it up into another file with Apache B, right? And this is all done locally, right? So we can have this done locally on our computer, on our Linux computer. 
what some fashion be and we also do this with the cloud right we this is gcp tutorials so i'm going to show you how to do this in the cloud so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and take all those same java files that we're working with to execute locally as an input files and we're going to put those on the cloud So everyone can see, just zoom in in a bit. And then for a bucket, I usually don't like to use environment variables because I work with this directly and I want to get thrown off. So I just go ahead and hard code in those names that I'm using, right? And this is allowing me to copy all those Java files over to cloud storage, right? Now what I need to do is I need to head over to the file that I'll be using for cloud, running pipelines through the cloud. And I just wanna first make sure my project is set up properly. Once again, project ID, go grab my project ID. I wanna make sure the bucket name is correct. Go ahead and grab the bucket name like so. And after that, we are good to go. And I want to run that C right for the cloud. All right, so Python 3 C uh, PY. And as that runs, right, it's going to submit the job. Don't worry about this warning. That's okay. That's just saying use a different different version of Python 3, but Python 3s are fairly consistent, right? And now what we're gonna do is go over two jobs and see our job run, which will take a while, right? We have completed jobs and we know that we gave it a bucket for our data bucket to store our results in data. If we go back to the scripts, we can see where our result is output prefix, school storage, bucket name, Java help at output. So, right, so we're gonna to go to our, our bucket here, Java help, output, right? And you can see those files. All right, and there you go. So now what, now running that pipeline locally in a Linux environment, we're able to do the same in the cloud and that's a simple overview of pipelines and google cloud platform so thank you for watching the video please like share and subscribe also a link of the instructions will be posted in the description